In this video, I am going to share five practical tips about how you can approach the technical interviews in Germany and where you can find more information about what kind of technical interviews you may get in your job application. First one, until you find your job for Germany, prepare your environment the same way how you will be attending the actual interview. Please fix a place where you will be attending the interviews and practice or study for your interviews in the same place. This makes you to practice well along with the environment. So when you are attending the interview, there is nothing new apart from the interview itself. Why do I say this? Because when I was attending interviews, I used to prepare to solve some of the problems sitting in the sofa or sitting in somewhere in the bed or some random places in my house. But when I was getting the actual interview, I was trying to sit in front of the light so that I am visible to the interviewer and I was preparing the place so that I can keep my laptop and do some stuff. I was kind of not fully comfortable to analyze the problem or to resolve it. Sometimes what happens in the home, we would have prepared very well, but when we go to the exam hall, we will not get anything back in our mind to write in the exam. We don't want to get into the similar situation when we are doing our technical interview. Next suggestion, do not always be worried about completing all the problems. It may be possible that in the given time, you are only able to solve, let's say, five problems, but you will be given 10 problems in the interview. It may be possible that the interviewer is evaluating your ability to handle the pressure and how you are approaching when you are given a lot of work within the less time. Whatever you are picking, do that with full quality and then move on to the next one. Do not try to jump from one to another just for the sake of completing everything. The same thing happened for me in my previous job. When I was attending the interview, I was asked to write 10 different SQL statements in 45 minutes. Those were little complex SQL problems which I was supposed to solve. I have not solved everything. Based on that, I was thinking I might get rejected but I got that job. After joining the company, I asked the interviewer, I have not solved all the problems, still why did you chose me? That's when I came to know that's actually part of the interview. So I was not required to solve all 10 problems. For each problem, how was my solution? For example, did I follow best practices in the syntax? Did I use caps or small letters for table names and for keywords? That's what the interviewers are checking, whether you are giving your best even when you are under pressure. Needless to say, make sure to brush up your technical or techno-functional skills before attending any kind of this interview. Another observation what I have is the interviews from IT or IT services based companies go much deeper compared to the companies of other businesses. For example, Automotive or Pharma or any other such companies. So if you are going for an interview for IT and IT services based company then prepare more on the technical stuff if you are going for IT role interviews for non IT companies you also need to care about the functional stuff or the business part of their company or your role I have already made a video about must know technical interview formats about Germany jobs in case if you have not checked that out you can watch that video also. The number of interview rounds may vary from company to company. I would not say you will get all these six types of interviews. Most of the companies just complete only with Q&A format interviews and programming challenges. But some companies try to know more about your technical capabilities. So they try to combine one or more different formats what we discussed here. So what I would say is be aware of all these formats and whichever the format you come across then you are just going to attend. For the people who do programming, please try to practice your problems from HackerRank or LeetCode, any other similar platforms that you may know better than me. So you can practice your problems from one such site before you get into this kind of interviews. Now where to find more information about your job interviews for your specific company. Glassdoor is the primary option what I would suggest for but make sure to pay attention while you are filtering for the location. Glassdoor.de opens in German language so we try to do right click and translate to English and then we are trying to search for the specific role or company what we are looking for. Sometimes even though I give the location as Germany, it still somehow takes to the US website and you get to see all the interview experiences from US or from around the world. So make sure to filter location correctly and then go through reading the interview experiences 
from different candidates. And you can also look for more information in the job description wherein some of the companies write what are their different interview levels and how you need to prepare for that. For example, for Amazon, Google, such companies interview processes are very open. It is widely available over the internet. So if you have something like that, you can also find it. Also in the YouTube, everyone started sharing their experiences just like me. So you will have plenty of information in YouTube as well. And of course, when you are attending your first round of interview with the HR or the project manager, you will get to hear what are the different technical rounds that you will get. Even if they are forgetting to share about it to you, you don't forget to ask about the interview things, about the different interview formats that you need to go through. If you find this piece of content useful, then please like this video so that it reaches to many job seekers and everyone gets benefited out of it.